My girlfriend at the time suffered from sleep paralysis and sleep talking. My first experience with this was the second night we slept together. We were at her place in bed and all of a sudden, she pops up white-eyed and points in the dark room and says, there he is. He's right there. He's right there. I pop up thinking it's a burglar and I'm going to have to throttle the guy when I see no one in the corner of the room. Then I panic and think, how the fleet do I punch out a ghost? She sits up for a couple seconds, ignores me and says, oh never mind and goes right back to sleep. I tell her about it the next morning and all she said was, yeah, I get like that sometimes. I went to bed without shutting the window. During my sleep paralysis, I see the curtains move until a black shadow came out of the window and crawled on top of me, it basically felt like I was being suffocated by this black force and I couldn't move or talk. It was fleeing scary. I finally snapped out of it and I shut the window, turned the lamp on and tried to go back to sleep. I only had sleep paralysis once and it was really weird, though maybe it was just a really unusual dream, can't tell. I woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't move, it felt like wanting to move two same pole magnets towards each other, a weird floaty resistance everywhere. For some reason I was able to partially see in the dark, like only a meter in each direction, so I could see what was right next to my bed but beyond that, only a black void. Next to my bed were two figures, the first who was closer to me was a smaller woman in a fancy pink reddish dress, with the weird stuck up hair and a porcelain like mask, and she was floating a bit above the floor. It was like some carnival of Venice-like appearance. Behind next to her was a very shadowy figure that had no real details on him, just a black human-shaped being who somewhat blended into the darkness. The figures didn't do anything, they just looked at me. Eventually I was able to move my arm and hit the light switch upon which everything turned black and I realized my eyes were closed. Opened my eyes and my room was normal and I was fully awake. My body felt weird, but that sensation quickly passed. Didn't go back to sleep that night. I'm not sure it was genuine sleep paralysis or just a really vivid dream though. I only had it once and it was just bizarre because I remember thinking that I didn't want it to happen to me as I was trying to fall asleep. The only reason I thought that was because I was having extremely bad vertigo that would not go away and it occurred to me that I might experience sleep paralysis. The next thing I knew, this tall, dark figure was standing at the foot of my bed. It didn't look like much of anything, it was just tall and round at the top, like somebody with a sheet over their head. It was taller than anybody who lives in my house, so I knew it couldn't have been a prank. Just a minute before that, I was trying to move my arms and they were glued at my side, definitely the weirdest sensation I've ever felt while trying to sleep. I've heard people talk about it, and it really is true, I could not move, I was just surprised I was experiencing it. When I saw the dark figure, I somehow was able to pull the covers up over my head and turn to my side. I was afraid to look again because I've heard people say that whatever you're seeing might get closer if you look away and look back again. I just fell asleep after that and it's never happened to me since, God willing it won't happen again because I'm afraid I might see something much more terrifying. Was texting a friend at the early hours of the morning, probably 2 or 3 am, and I ended up falling asleep mid-text. Woke up from the sound of her texting me and found I couldn't move. That's when I decided it was a good idea to look in the corner of my room. I was so so wrong. Saw a shadow form into the old times devil with the lower half of the goat, thick fur all over, and the horns. But a robot kept getting closer and closer until he was right up in my face. His breathing woke me up. You know how, when it is dark, your vision is sort of staticky? In my first night terror sleep paralysis episode, I woke up and opened my eyes and saw that static pattern. But then the static began to coalesce into the shapes of thousands of demonic faces, all leering at me. I heard them all whispering unintelligible things to me. I wanted to scream but couldn't move until an eternity later when I finally released a scream. I used to get night terrors very frequently growing up. It was always the same. I had a similar experience when I was a kid. Thought I was awake but couldn't move, there was a girl in a white dress with black hair standing beside my bed, terrified, I pretended to be asleep, then I opened my eyes again, but this time she was above me and was making a god-awful demonic sucking sound and I couldn't breathe, but I forced myself awake. I was sitting up in my bed out of breath, I grabbed my fleeing quilt and ran downstairs and slept with my dad in the living room. My dad used to sleep on the sofa because we lived in a three-bedroom house with five kids, so he never had a bedroom. Never slept in that room again. 
I'm pretty sure that room was haunted as I had other weird things happen over the years. I don't believe in ghosts, and I have only ever had sleep paralysis once, but it was very weird. For a bit of background, I live in Michigan, so there is a lot of stuff regarding Indian tribes. My mom is very interested in horror stuff and likes to visit locations that are supposedly haunted. One day, she went to an unmarked graveyard in the middle of nowhere behind a supposedly haunted hotel she was staying at. It sounds like the start of a bad horror movie, but it's actually pretty creepy, anyway, turns out a lot of the graves were from the Civil War, and some were just unmarked. They found a rock they thought looked really weird, almost like it was part of some sort of old weapon or tool. After they took that rock home, really weird stuff started happening, animals acting weird, internet and power acting up, but the thing that put my mom and her friend on edge was when I had my first sleep paralysis experience just a day after they took home the rock. As most people know, you want to move, you want to scream for help, but you can't. It just won't come out no matter how hard you try. It feels like your limbs are held down with one-ton weights. I saw a Native American man with a knife standing at the foot of my bed, he made his way to the side of my bed, and it might have been a combination of sleep paralysis and a nightmare falling in and out of sleep, he grabbed my hand and twisted my skin with the handle of the knife, and it just felt so real, he kind of faded out, and then I just saw like some sort of giant dark creature crawling on my wall, and that's when I jerked up breathing heavily, and nothing was there. I later looked at the position of some pillows and stuff, and it might be to blame, but it still doesn't answer the question why was the man Native American, and what was the dark creature. Again, I don't believe in ghosts, but they saged the house the next day, and everything was fine for the most part. I have never had sleep paralysis again after that. I wouldn't say it was the worst, but it definitely left me feeling weird at the end. So I was sleeping in my bedroom one night when all of a sudden, I started having another episode of sleep paralysis, and it always feels real, but the moment when you actually wake up is when you know it's not. I didn't have anything like that at that time. The room was dark except for a small light coming from my window because it was almost sunrise, and I turned to look beside me to see a pale lifeless dead body, rather, just their hand and arm. I would always have covers over my head in case I had another sleep paralysis episode, but this time it was a blanket with holes in it, still felt a little safer though. I turned to look out one of the holes of the knitted blanket, and there was a thing resembling a plague doctor at the foot of my bed. It had a dark cloak on with one of those bird mask things, and turned to look straight at me before disappearing in a puff of smoke. I didn't wake up, I felt like I was awake the whole time, but never opened my eyes to know I had woken up from sleep paralysis. It just kind of faded into reality, and I could move as the puff of smoke was disappearing. It took me a good 20 minutes to have the courage to get up though. It started with the door being open and the light in my hallway being turned on. The next time there was a figure draped in shadow standing in the door. He had a trench coat and a hat on. As time went on, he mostly stayed in the doorway until one night he decided to get brave. He moved from the doorway into my room and stood at the foot of my bed. Staring, never moving. No sound. Just a presence. Every time I saw him, all I could think was, if you scream you'll wake up. Just make a noise, any noise and you'll be okay, but I couldn't. All I could do was sit in my absolute panic and stare back at him. Eventually I managed to move a finger and I woke up. The final time I saw him, whom I have dubbed the stranger, was the worst. I woke knowing that I was having another episode, but as I looked around he wasn't in his usual spots. This time he was standing at the side of my bed, close enough that if I looked in his direction, only his silhouette could be seen, and he was extending his hand to me. Offering it to me. No sound or movement. Just his presence. I haven't seen him since I moved out of the house I was in. To this day, I still have an uneasy feeling when thinking about him offering his hand to me. I hope I never see him again. I used to have it as a kid, but it wasn't too bad. Then it went away for a while. It just recently came back and it's the same dream almost two to three times a week where I can't move in my bed, and there is just a skinny, I mean really skinny, tall person at the end of my bed. He doesn't look like a shadow or like a demon. Just this naked tall skinny guy just covered in shadow to where it's hard to make out any real details and his eyes look sunken in from the shadows. He just sits there and stares while I can't move and eventually reaches for my girlfriend. I recently yelled no at him when he did this, and I guess I said it out loud as well, because I woke up my girlfriend. Now instead of her, he reaches for me, but it's the same guy, and now I feel like my jaw is wired shut. 
only ever had it once. Was maybe early 20s at the time. Was under the impression I was awake, likely not, so was dreaming I was in the room I was sleeping in. Laying on my back and unable to move. Pillows were high enough I could see the end of my bed. Saw two creepy sets of gray fingers start to emerge over the end of the bed. Long and spindly. Slowly, they were raised enough I could see full hands, and it curled down to touch the bed. The rest of the thing started to emerge following its hands arms. Was an archetypal gray, standard gray almondite alien. A very sinister variant in terms of its look, bony, aggressive looking. It very very slowly started to crawl up the bed. Face very low to the covers. Not flat, but not too far off. When I saw slow, I mean slow. It was pausing between each movement. Looking at me the whole time. Appearing to be trying to creep and yet it was staring straight at me, so it knew I could see it. Also the way it crept didn't suggest fear of being discovered. Just seemed it was taking its time. Then it just suddenly rushed full speed straight at my face. Fortunately this is the point at which I woke up. Unfortunately, with sleep paralysis for what seemed like half an hour. Very likely nowhere near that long in reality. Really didn't like looking down at the end of my bed for a while after that. Could always imagine the fingers starting to curl over the end of the bed again. 